Hi and welcome, this is Jacob. Today we're gonna do a jewelry uh, name tag and we will use two things. We will use Fusion 360, uh, I have it here, and we will also learn how to 3D print the jewelry. So I will use shape waves. And uh, I have my Shapeway shop here. And we will do a jewelry like this one. Here we have Letizia. And we have a stav. And we have a pedant with a hole. And we have another example. See. The next page here we have also a name tag it's bigger letters and I think today we're gonna do like this but we will keep the letters smaller in the bottom of the pennant and we will upload the STL file to Shapeways and check for, we have to check for the thickness of the material so we can 3D print it. But we will come to that. Go to Fusion 360 and maybe you should create a new folder. I have already a folder and I have created a new file we can save it I will save it to Nils tag and save first we will create the stop so we create a new sketch and we can take it the bottom plane and we go to sketch rectangle center rectangle and we pick the center of the rectangle and I think we will have it 10 by 10 millimeters and if you use the tab you go to the next Now we have a rectangle with 10, 10. We need a thickness, but we can, hmm, because shapeways pay by material, so I think we should have it hollow. When we can do, we can draw another rectangle or we can use the we can use the shell the shell future sorry for my confusing it was a long time since I recorded some CAD uh, videos but I think we create a new rectangle from the center. No, we use offset sketch and offset. And it's the correct way. And we need three mil, no, it, I think we take two millimeters, two millimeters, that will be good. Now we can uh, extrude it. But 
I think we keep this sketch and extrude both of them. And I think we can take 40 millimeters. And we go back and look at the sketch. And we want the bottom part uh, hollow. And we just extrude, cut it like 35 millimeters when we have saved some materials and we want to have a hole for the rope. And we pick one side and create sketch. I think we do the shape of a rectangle. And we can use the lines. You know, it's clever snapping. I use the wheel when I zoom in and out. The mouse wheel. I think three millimeters will be good. And we use the extrude and we take it uh, not distance, we take it all and we flip side. Okay. Now we have to measure. We take the point and we have three millimeters that we know before and we have yeah it's longer i just want to check if the rope is uh, big enough or small enough for the hole so now we can take our rope and now we will add a name at this face. So we take draft on the sketch plane. And uh, text. Take it from the middle so we get the snapping position. And we start with the first letter, it's too big, and we take two millimeters, it's too small. I think four is good, and we can take it bold. Here we can choose some other uh, font. I think I will keep Arial for this one. And that's okay. And we do the same. Four millimeters. And we move them up a bit. Oh, sorry, I move. Uh the size four millimeters it's tricky to get uh, I 
think we should hide the body, the background, so I can pick. Yeah. Sorry for my break. If you just mark and hold down, then you can move a letter. You can move it. And we take it up somewhat. And we add another some more text. And we don't use the snapping. And our L. And we need a S. Not the most pretty, but I think you understand the principle. So we have Nils, and now stop the sketch, and we will extrude this, we can uh, yeah, we extrude, go distance and we know it is two millimeters in the other direction so we change it to minus two and we should pick that to all the letters okay and now we have the name Nils at this name tag so we have this jewelry name tag with the name Nils and we go to make 3d print Select and we name it. It could be Nils, and we get the STL file, and we go to Shapeways. Go to make product, upload 3D models, and we select the file, should be Nils, and we have to pennant and necklace, and we upload it. No, it will be some automatic uh, tests for the shape and depending on the material it and here we have a picture of of a name tag with Nils and we check Can we get it 3D print? And we have a price. 
so the first test it it will be print yeah we can get in uh, natural it will be printed in box and then uh, melted uh, but should we pick steel we cannot uh, take it because it will be 3d print directly and we have to make the walls thicker we can check the issue here wall thickness so if we should create it in uh, steel we have to fix some problems we have to thin wall here that easy fixing and we have some walls with the ladders so we have to change the design of the n and some of the s yeah we can go to render and add a material appearance and we can uh, take some brass we can take brass and add it to the design and then we can render it render it in the cloud but it did take uh, too long time so I will show you the render of the jewelry on the first uh, thing on the video so you can see the rendering but uh, this was a CAD tutorial in Fusion 360 and we learn jewelry design to do a name tag and using shape ways that you can uh, get your things 3d printed and have your own uh, custom made jewelry oh it was really fast we can see the rendering in brass i think it looks cool yeah that was everything for today hope you enjoy the session bye bye